The invasive wheel cactus poses a thorny dilemma for farmers across Australia as it damages bush and it injures animals. The plant became a problem after being introduced from South America, but now it seems another introduced species could be the solution. The menace of wheel cactus is something farmer Barry Wenski knows all too well. There's young ones coming up here, there and everywhere and um, eventually it'll be a forest probably if it's nothing is done like we're standing in at the moment. His sheep feast on the cacti's fruit, but the cactus bites back. Then they can't eat properly and the shearers don't like shearing them either if they've been eating these pods and the prickles get stuck in their jaws and around their cheeks. With its sharp spines, waxy pads and ability to thrive in most climates, the plants dominate their environment. It acts as a competition in native bushland, so it takes up space that other plants would have had and nutrients and water and also acts as a, as a major impediment to native animals. Will cactus was introduced to the country as an ornamental plant from South America, but the prickly pest has quickly taken over, thriving in Australia's arid climate. The cacti is now a declared weed under the Natural Resources Management Act. Cactus has been here for decades and there's never been a really good effective control. There's been control methods, but nothing that's been really effective and efficient for landholders as well. Hope lies in hungry microscopic bugs called cochineal, which were introduced many years ago from America for the cosmetic and dye industries. We're working on multiple angles, so with uh, biocontrol through cochineal beetle and chemical control, so giving landholders the ability to control it in little pockets and also a large attack through biocontrol. Three years after beginning a trial, Mr Wenski says this week was the first where he'd seen the bugs take control of his cacti patch. Very happy, yes. It saved a lot of time trying to go around poisoning them and um, getting prickles in your hand and uh, so forth. <laughs> Landholders are now relying on nature to spread the bugs across the region. Brittany Evans, ABC News, The Riverland.